Welcome to Siena Chalk Talk. My name is Sebastian Garrow, and we'll be talking about Flexi. So transport networks today offer limited flexibility, and they are dependent on the standards for service rates and interfaces. There are initiatives underway to make the network more programmable, responsive to applications, and deliver on-demand experience that the user expects. For example, there are innovations in coherent technology that enable 100 gig, 150, 200 gig, or beyond on the line side. And these overall reduce the cost per bit. To optimize for network efficiency or transport bandwidth utilization, especially at higher capacity wavelengths or group of wavelengths in a media channel, the industry is looking at introducing flexibility at the service layer. This is where Flex Ethernet comes in, also referred to as Flexi. So Flexi was originally conceived to meet the challenges of the content providers for higher capacity and flexible data center interconnects. Flexi has been defined in the OIF and the first implementation agreement has been published Q1 2016. Flexi tries to dissociate the client from the actual interface or server. How does it do this? Flexi introduces a new shim between the IEEE-defined MAC and PCS layers. It basically adds a new TDM frame structure using existing Ethernet building blocks such as 66B and O-code ordered sets. There are three use cases for Flexi. The first one being bonding. Flexi offers the capabilities of grouping standard RAID interfaces to support a higher capacity client or service. For example, a 400 gigi can be supported today using existing 100 gigi modules. And this is in advance of the availability of 400 gig modules at the right cost targets. Bonding also provides an alternative to lag and doesn't have the inefficiencies associated with lag today. The second use case is subgrading. Flexi provides a way to match the client or service rate to the transport line's capabilities. This is provided in 25 gig granularity. Flexi provides a means of underfilling an interface and does not have to resort to a flow control mechanism. The client or service rate can be dynamically changed or provisioned remotely without affecting the interface connections. The third use case for Flexi is channelization. It provides a means of aggregating low-rate clients onto a group interface. It provides a more scalable alternative to higher layer schemes such as VLANs or LSPs. Flexi is essentially a new generalized MLG or multi-link gearbox. For example, you can take 10 10 gigis and aggregate them on a 100 gigi group interface or you can take 540 gigis and aggregate them on a 200 gig group interface. There are also examples of mixing all three use cases, like a 150 gig plus a 250 gig on a 400 gig group interface. In summary, Flexi provides a flexible interface for routers and transport equipment. Using bonding, it enables higher capacity clients or services on existing interfaces. Using subrating, it enables matching the client or service capacity to the line transport capacity or the terabit sized groups of wavelengths in a media channel. And with channelization, it enables simpler and more scalable provisioning of lower rate clients onto a single group interface. Flexi, one of the ways Sienna is enabling programmable services for an SDN-controlled world.